There's one. Oh, yanked him out. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. All right, so this one's about average for this stream. I'm on my way to fish some small streams, trying to get some of that early spring fishing in before the runoff starts. So I'll keep you updated on how it goes. I think it might be a good fishing day. We've got warmer weather, it's overcast. We do have a storm that's coming in, so I don't know how that will affect things, um, but we'll see. Storm blew in a little quicker than I thought it would. So it's pretty much here with the wind and a tiny bit of snow. So it's a lot colder than it was when I started this video. But, so we'll see what that does to the fishing. I guess the air could still be a little warm, but the wind is super cold. We'll just see if the fish want to bite here, and if they're not willing to bite, I'll move on to the next stream. I know there's a good hole up here somewhere, I'm trying to get to it. Probably gonna skip over, they could be fishing here for sure, but I'm gonna skip over anything that's not amazing. Ooh, shoot, I'm coming out above a really nice hole. I'm gonna go back around because if I go downstream, I'm gonna spook them. I'm gonna go around, try to hit it from behind. I just spooked some fish. The still water back here is tricky to navigate because it's so clear. Right, right there was the best spot to come in, but it was too close to the where the fish were holding. So that's good though. We know there's fish here. Part of the hole that I'm most excited about. There's some good cover right there. Some faster water. We'll see, usually the first cast is the most telling cast. Most of the fish you catch and oh, snags. That's the problem. Most of the fish are in the best spots, which means lots of things to snag on. I keep spooking trout because I have to get so close. I might go back and get my spinning rod. I can hit them from a distance. Beavers and the wind have really done a number on this place. There are trees everywhere in the water and it looks very different from the last time I was here. Man, those beavers are not gonna leave a tree in the forest. There must be some really effective beavers here. I'm just gonna do a couple casts through these big pools. Brown trout though, once they follow, oh, he hit it again. So they say usually brown trout, they only give you one chance, but he came again just barely there. He looks like he's just hitting it out of aggression, so he's not super hungry, but I'm gonna keep trying. There's another one. I could catch these little ones all day, but if I can find a deep pool, there's some big ones in here. I keep seeing them at the last minute. Come on, fish. That's a pretty yellow one. I'm gonna get my hands wet before I handle this guy. There's another win for the Hoffman's lure. Just a nice little trout, nothing crazy. Even though it's snowing, they seem more eager for that than worms. There was something giant right there. I stepped in here and just flopped by my feet. It might have been a beaver or a huge, huge fish, but I. I kind of doubt that it was a huge fish. I have to keep hiking way around the river because the pools are so deep, I can't just wade downstream. It's a lot of walking for just a few pools. Right away between pools, but here's another good one. Ooh, I got another hit that time. Different fish, I think. A little smaller. There's one. Oh, yanked him out. Oh, sorry, guys. 
He's gonna fall off in this current. Got him. Okay. All right. So this one's about average for this stream. This is probably the average size fish in the stream. Um, very pretty colors on this one. Another one I missed the hook set. They are loving this spinner. It's crazy. Oh, I got a bite, but I didn't hook him. Try that again. There must be like 15 trout in this little pool. Because they keep coming. story about this fish first time I let him go and then I'll tell you there it goes my GoPro died in the cold or you would have seen this but he chased the lure all the way over the edge of the waterfall missed it right when I pulled it out at the edge of the little I guess it's not really a waterfall but I'm calling it that and I could see him down here in this water but he hadn't seen me yet so I just kind of dangled my lure in there like this and he took it it's pretty cool this one's a little better size. I'm gonna start skipping these smaller holes and just stop at the big ones because I am ready for a big fish. Exciting. I uh, caught a ton of fish with that little spinner. Uh, I saw a lot of big ones. Unfortunately, I always saw them because I was spooking them, but it was a blast today. A whole lot of fish caught on just one lure. Fished better than worms today, which surprised me. I started with worms because it's so cold and I thought I'd need something really motivating for the fish to be interested at all, but they wanted a spinner. Again, if you're interested in ordering from HoffmansLures.com, I have a link below this video where you can go directly to their website and order some awesome spinners. 